I, I'm from upstate New York, and you know that. <laughs> uh, I, I credit my parents, who are kind, gentle people. Uh, and I think when I go home to upstate New York, I'm always reminded that people have a lot more in common than what divides us. That's right. And we're all worried about the same things. You know, we're worried to make sure the kids of the next generation have an equal climate opportunity. Climate has become climate such a change. huge issue. Um, but I'll tell you, and when the, you the, sit young there. young people, too, are getting so involved. That there's a whole group of these young men and women now. Uh, that are putting a face to it for the next generation. I do recognize when I'm out there, people come up to me all the time and they weigh in on the news, and I'm glad to hear that. I feel, I feel it's a privilege in these sort of rocky times to be there to try to answer the questions, and I'm grateful that young people are involved now. And I like that you're also a person that you keep yourself grounded. You know, you can look up and very often see you on the subway or yeah. coming in or you're going into one or coming out of one. And you think that's part of your job well, I mean, and I, responsibility to yeah. be out there and talking to everyone and, and well, I mean, I don't there's go, a communication I don't go on the subway to start media. announcing the news. No, 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 <laughs> but, no, no. But I end up doing it no, because, listen. No, but you not put yourself in, you, you can insulate yourself. You're, you're right. I, I could. I could be in a car and protect it on the way right, home. Right, right. And, and I just choose to go on the subway. It's just, you know, I feel like I'm very much... Uh, the same kid I was when I was 13 and going to the TV station you for the first time. You always wanted to do this, I right? always wanted to do this. And you know, and I, I, and you're not joking. Rachel knows I take the subway every day and on the way home, I'll never forget I was sitting next to... Look at you, <laughs> look, look, look. Oh my God, right? How scary is that? <laughs> same hair. <laughs> True, actually. It's kind of scary. Now, how old were you here, 13? <laughs> I was 13 years old. Wow. I had written to the local news people in my town, and they began writing back to me, and that was my first visit uh, to the TV station. Uh, I was 13 years old, began interning, carrying the tripods and the equipment. That's and the so back cool. The and they hired me out of college. That's where my first job was, Channel 5 uh, in Syracuse. So, yeah, it paid off. I was so happy. I would fetch the Cokes out of the Coke machine, <laughs> and I'd sit there and study the anchors at the anchor desk. And I think back to that time because I think... You know, you and I have been able to sort of live a dream, right? Absolutely. We have a privilege and a responsibility that comes with it. But I think that when you get a chance to sort of get the job that you mm -hmm. once dreamed of, you've got to turn around and look at the door and see who the next person is. Absolutely. I feel like I'm just keeping that seat warm for the next person with the same dream. Don't so. you love him? Yeah. First meal I cooked by myself, I was 12. Right? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we could have... We could have cooked and done the news together at yeah. 12 years old. The first meal I cooked all by myself um, was for my mom and I was 12, like an elaborate dinner, the first elaborate dinner. And I, oh God, it was a gorgonzola sauced uh, lasagna with spinach and mushrooms and, uh, and gorgonzola and toasted walnuts and stuff. Yeah, and I made the fabulous wine pairing of a mimosa. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, and you still do gorgonzola and mimosas. <laughs> but you know, look at that. That's yeah. 12 years old and now 14 seasons of Rachel Ray. Yeah. So congratulations to you. I mean, 20 years of I know. Amazing.